If we look into mobile communication, we also have to look into the signal propagation, because this is uh, kind of tricky if you look into the mobility, if you look into the different scenarios which you would uh, signal receive and so on. So first we start with a sender and the sender transmits in our case and let's say we have a receiver on the other side and the receiver, maybe this receiver is our smartphone here and it should receive actually the signal from the sender. So in the ideal case there's no problem with the reception, you just have the direct line of sight. You can directly reach the receiver from the sender. The reality now is different, unfortunately. You have different phenomena you have to pay attention to and this sums up in multi-path propagation. So for example if you have a house standing here then it might be that the signal also travels this way. It's, it gets reflected so you have reflection here and there is the, you have a slightly longer pass from the sender to the receiver when it travels with this reflection on the house here. Reflection might be on other objects as well. It adds an unforeseeable phenomenon when you look into the path which is traveled by your signal. A second phenomenon could be that you have a refraction. Let's say you have a different material here and the signal is emitted, signal is refracted here and then it travels further to the receiver. So this also adds a difficulty in the travel of your signal and in this case again it might be the slightly longer way but it might also be the uh, distortion of the frequencies which is, uh, which is added by the refraction. Then it might be that you don't have this line of sight, but maybe you have a wall here or a big object. Let's say we have a big mountain here between the sender and the receiver and the object would be shadowed and the object would shadow the receiver from the sender. So here you have the shadowing. And this means that behind this mountain there might be no signal to receive because the shadowing interrupts the travel of our signal. Maybe the signal is clever enough in this case of our mountain and the signal finds a way over the top of this mountain behind this mountain. Then we would see diffraction here. And diffraction means that the radio waves are able to travel around this corner, you could say, by the diffraction which happens after the radio wave is here on top of the mountain. On top of the mountain the radio wave is diffracted and it continues traveling to the, to the receiver not with the same signal strength, but at least it might be possible that the receiver receives the diffracted signal. And another phenomenon might be the scattering. Scattering is something like this. You have an object here, an undefined object, and the radio wave travels to this object first and then is diffracted in different directions. So there might be a signal which is received by the receiver, but there might be other scattered signals which are not receivable by the receiver. So the signal strength again is lowered by the scattering and it's more complicated to receive the signal by the receiver. And in multipath propagation you have the problem that all these effects happen at the same time. 
and you must be able to cope with these multipath propagation effects such that you receive the different signals from different sides maybe also and then you have to process all these information such that you get the original information from all these multipath signals.